Mishnah.
I'd say that was perfect timing, except I for I screwed it. it up a little in the end. Yes, happy Friday. It's Friday. Children of the lawn sprouts without doubt and seeds without seeds needs. Seeds without needs. We have no Gail in the house No, what, what's wrong with that picture? Uh, I don't know. She loves that song. Hmm. I got, like, radioactivity going on back here. Oh, no, that's wrong. Radioactivity? Yeah, look at my, my, my ship is being invaded by... Uh, Hostile oh, ways. I see that. All right, well, that's good enough. So, hi. You got the vapors. I do have the vapors. <laughs> me, and, me and Granny. <laughs> me and Granny have the says, vapors. Uh, there's no Brenda either. Maybe they're running a bit late. Wow. Oh, that's a great new name for names you've never been called. What? Brenda Rules. Brenda Rules. Very good. Mm -hmm. Or Ben. The rules. In the rules would be better. Right, that's true. In the rules. Yeah. I'll think of a Brenda one. All right. Well, <laughs> the weekend is here. The weekend is here. Well, it's coming. Here, here it no, comes it's now. It's here. Well, it's, it's here. It's Friday about... night, bitch. Ooh. That means weekend. Man, and okay, and the the subject for tonight, once the participants arrive. For me, it's going to be um, cutting the cord. I think that's a very important subject these days, and I want to know how my fellow musicians uh, feel about that. Uh-huh. So we're going to find out. We'll find out about that. And what else is exciting? Okay, did anybody get their record yet? Anybody? Maybe that's where they all are. They're listening. They passed out from Can joy. Say, where are the women? <laughs> <laughs> Here come the women. Here come the women. Here are the women. I don't know where they're at. I don't because know Lori's not here. Yeah. Well, sometimes Lori doesn't come You want your in. buttons? Be careful, yeah. don't touch anything. Gail, she, I don't remember her ever missing a show. <sighs> Except when she was up in New York. What's up with that? And she got COVID. What is this? Okay. My uh, bag's back here. Okay. Okay. So, so no CD. What? So well, that's about. CD. That's not right. That is not right. <laughs> I could probably so, throw one there. Uh, okay, so let's know if you get HBO. Okay, this is the We deal. can get HBO. You can get anything you want. Right. It's like cable that way. You have to pay for the premium channels. But 
lot. Yeah. You get a lot of stuff for free. You get a lot of stuff. You get Access TV, th- which is the music channel, like, you know, at the Eddie Money Show, we were watching that, and he was doing concerts, <laughs> wearing Steve's shirts. It's like, oh, he's got another Eddie. Guy. And they, then they cut, like, to, uh, what would you call that? When they cut to a cut of him, you know? When they cut to a cut of, of him. You mean when they cut away? Cut away, when they cut away. <laughs> Yeah. So. That was good. Oh, wow. I see. <laughs> there. there we go. Now. No better. No, that's wrong. No, that's Something supposed to be just off. crazy. No, that is supposed to be off. What? That light's supposed to be off, isn't it? It's a uh, who cares? I, you know what? I quit. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. Um, I really okay, so don't care. Huh? From that email that uh, Gail posted, it looked like they were getting sent out today. CDs. Is today the fourth? Today is the fourth. Well, okay. So, listen, I'm I'm new to all this record company stuff. (laughs) They did. They held the release back. (laughs) But they held the release back. Yeah. I'm going to. Well, I guess uh, Halloween and everything, you know, they figured let it come out after Halloween. Stop the glow. Okay. Yeah. Let it go. Well, no, it's got something to do with, and I have to ask them. I'll ask Chip. Um, it's got something to do it's tuesday and fridays and it's got something to do with publications or the news cycle but did you see um that we were number two on um, right they send all of like the it's it's craziness what's happening radio here. people oh, and news people advanced copies so they have them they have them and I think the reason they do that is so that they can have them first. Why is Well, Sue says it's okay. Us? She's patient. I love that, Sue. Yeah, you got to love Steve that. Steve and I don't have that quality. No. <laughs> you don't even know how to spell that. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> no. Why is the show doing Are we on the air? This is doing weird shit. We on mean, the are we on the air? Well, I see us. Oh, there we are. Yeah, there I am right there. Where? That little shining star. That's you. I'm on the shining star, no matter who you are, uh, I'm not like to see. Okay, not um, that. who's going to be first in the room? Kitty said, we ordered so many, they can't keep up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're making them one at a time, using the right hand of left-handed people. All, all ten of you? <laughs> you How know many what lawn I... chairs do we have now? <laughs> <laughs> How many lawn chairs? Yeah. You really want to know? I'll tell you what, people. There are people watching this show. We don't know if they're watching. Wait a minute. That's not it. Here's and they'll here. write us two days later and said, I was watching the show. It's like someone was watching the show with Doobie. And we didn't know he was watching. Tony Ferrari. 14. Tony Ferrari is watching now or was watching the other day? The 14 other day chair. With Doobie. And we didn't know it. He wrote to you yesterday. Oh, right. And I was watching the show with Doobie. And if he wants and to And you know, I just, l- let me just give you the six degrees of separation in this crazy business. Um, Lance, no, not Lance, um, Tony Ferrari, uh, was a student of mine and turns out that he now plays keyboards in a really, really good band, but he saw the episode, I guess it was with Doobie yeah. on Tuesday mm-hmm. where Doobie said he wanted to get rid of his big white set of drums that was he in, played in stars that, yeah. But well, but I th- that's not the one. From, oh, that's right. He wasn't using that uh, in on Brandy in Looking Glass. Yeah. And Lance said he knows a guy that has a drum museum, and he anyway. And he said try, and, they might want to buy. Them. Yeah, they might want to buy the kit. <laughs> and so. Yeah, but see, but the thing Lance, is, uh, what the thing is, we didn't know he was watching the show. No, we didn't know. Maybe he watched uh, uh, like. After the fact? I don't know anything. Oh, Sue says maybe Brenda and Gail are in Angus's feed. <laughs> oh. That's like the wow. black hole. You I was just going to say, that's like a, a yeah, that's yeah. that's something for the Discovery Channel. <laughs> oh, and Tim said uh, some leaked out, damn right. Back on the road is uh, number two. They didn't leak out. The record company sent them yeah, out. Yeah, no, those are released. They're released. I mean, that's, well, the. Was that the second single back on the road? I don't know. I tell you what, they, yes, it was. these, this label, <laughs> they move so fast. 
I cannot see them. Oh, gosh. Michael Newton just said something uh -oh. very funny. Well, what, Michael? Because <laughs> Brenda, Jesus, and maybe Brenda and Gail are in Angus's feed. Remember Michael Newton went in there the other day by yeah. accident? He yeah. said, mm -hmm. that's a lovely place. I've been there. And he's laughing. <laughs> And Susan, I was there before. We're having <laughs> a I? lovely time. It looks exactly I like here. I wish you were here. Oh, uh, yeah. Now let's see. You know, maybe they are. Maybe they're not seeing anybody. They're, they're saying, trapped. It's like, like an episode so of Star and Trek. Michael and Kitty and Anton and Tim. They're in the wall of the library. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So now what? Oh, it's it's eight after. Is everybody playing? Angus, you don't have to play by the rules. I got your song ready and everything. Who's going to be the first in? Um, I don't know, and I don't know what this means. What what means? Know. Tim, uh, it's, you drink it again. <laughs> Tim, I mean, I, I don't know. Play with you. with you, classic late into it. So what does that? Now mean? you got to check your spell. Yeah. Oh, and the winner is. Mousy. Joe Castelli. I thought I'd be early for once. Man, oh, and check him out. He's got the for real background and everything. Because yes. I, I got my CD. Oh. Been rocking to it all day. Really? Wow. That's. Wow. Oh, cool. That's great. Did you pre order? Yeah, was it a pre-order? I ordered it on Amazon because I wanted to see how that process worked because I knew everyone else was ordering it. You know, most other people were ordering it th that way. So I just figured, let's uh, let's test the whole distribution chain, right? Yeah. So came immediately today. It's great. That's awesome. Wow. That's awesome. Did you like the package? I did. I love the package. Hold on. Where is it? Because I scanned the package. That's how I that's how I uh got the picture. Lori's back. Look what she can look forward. She gets to look forward to. Yeah, I don't want to give too much of it away because you know, people, you gotta buy it. So well, yeah. but wow. it's uh it's um yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. didn't realize that Bobby Pridden mixed you know did the mixing and stuff for it. I mean that's or mastering or whatever it was. I got the studio it stuff. No, he was, was the great. engineer and we mixed it together. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> we we got we're coming up with a nickname for you, man. It's got oh. it's like Blue Bell Booker or or Three B. <laughs> I'm not really sure what it is, bro. But the Angus is taking pictures of trucks with the shit on it now. Man. <laughs> it's getting way out of control. Well, yeah, Jeff sent the whole oh yeah case from the store of Blue Bell. I uh, know. I was look I was looking at the sale price and like going. Damn. <laughs> I was looking at it and said, he, Jeff better be going up there with some ice cream. Well, let me, <laughs> let me ask you a question. Let, let me ask a question. How much harder would you have to work out if you ate that shit every day? There you go. It's what I would not be able to eat other than that. I see. So it's basically, it's a number. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, all of this is, it's 90 five percent what you put in your mouth right wow. right i got that okay that's why so, we work out and don't lose any weight no, because we no. eat ice cream and cake and <laughs> <laughs> well all right well at least it evens out in the wash though so at least you're not gaining right right it, yeah uh, uh, trust me when <laughs> yeah it does but i have an interesting topic for today uh -huh. Wait, before you go there, I need to say something to Booker King. Yes. All right. So I didn't realize when we were doing the show last week because I came in later and you were already about to leave. And then I watched it back. So you were at the Grove. Yeah. In Cedar Grove, New Jersey, which is yeah. literally 30 seconds from my house. Wow. Uh, dude, I would have jumped in my car and taken my, <laughs> my, my kitten face ass over to see you because that place is right across the highway the street right across the highway is my um is where i grew up in cedar uh, grove i'm little falls right next door and I, jeff didn't tell me jeff told me later he goes do you know that booker was over at uh 
in Cedar Grove. I was like, get out. So yeah. I watched, yeah. I would have come and I uh, definitely would have come and terrorized you. <laughs> so probably better I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun yeah. gig. Yeah, it's a beautiful place too, right? Yeah. 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 Grub. It, was a it was a benefit for an autistic school. Autism. So it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a great thing that we what good what school was it? Do you know? Uh the summit something. Oh, hold on. I'll tell you in a second. Now I gotta find it. <laughs> oh no, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's no, I'll find it. <laughs> Hi, Angus. Hi, Angus. Here we are. Hey, Laurie. Hey, Steve. Hey, man. Oh, uh, had a yeah, you got a sport, man. Big time. Somerset oh. Hills Learning Institute. Okay. Yeah, I've done benefits for them. Yeah. Yeah. That's very cool, Tom. I realized yeah. that was you last week. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and we all thought it was Fader, but then I, I did. Like, I was totally fooled. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was too. That was great. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was fantastic. I've uh, never done anything like that before. You were don't so ever do anything like Fader. that again. Oh no, I, it was great. It was. How great. did you do the voice? I I got it. Uh, like I was channeling my father and uh, a lot of these <laughs> retirees that right. I have breakfast with in the morning sometimes. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's great. That was great. That mask that I had on, all I could really do in it was do that exhale. So, oh, now, yeah. and everybody I walked by just went, <gasps> That was scary. That was yeah. scary. Especially, scary. I can I imagine, with your stature, it must have been I know. I insane. Was and I you was were scary. <laughs> I was scared. I was too. Imagine was in real scared. life. And I knew it was you. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially when he didn't say anything and he just yeah. was like looking at you. Was like, ah! Yeah, it was, that was wrong, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was, no, it was actually great. Yeah. It, was, uh, it was incredible. And do, all right, so wait a minute. Before I get into my topic, can anybody remember what the clothes, the original clothes that he was wearing, why he had that weird onesie on? Oh, because he yeah, had like a yeah. thing? From the Institute. Because he was in the institute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Why? Because he murdered the guy in the tow truck and took his. Right. Oh, his coveralls. Cover okay. Yeah, okay. That's right. That's right. I was going to say institute too. Yeah, institute. But too. I got buzzed for the wrong answer. Well, guess what? <laughs> yes, he was the tow truck guy's. Uh, yeah, because we watched part of that on Halloween. Well, because we watched the the Halloween, the ends. Halloween ends. Yeah, which, uh -huh. which was it? You know, does yeah. it ever really end? No, it doesn't. Not in my world. Not a freaking uh, John Carpenter has anything to say about it. <laughs> and uh, that's why and, 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 shares not going on tour. So, <laughs> talk about nepotism. Him and his son did the music for this movie. Wow! Oh, really? Yeah, it's the same wow. music. Yeah. Kid showed him how to use a plug-in on Pro Tools. So that counts. It does. <laughs> it does, actually. These days, are you kidding me? That gets you a, a, a freaking Grammy these days, knowing how to use a plug-in. <laughs> and it's the same guy playing Michael Myers, right? Yeah. yeah. It's the same guy playing Michael Myers. It is? Isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, it is. In all yeah. the movies? Yeah. Same guy? Okay. Same guy. Just he, like it's the same guy playing he, Chewbacca. Yes, he, he has gray hair and a beard now, but he's it's the same guy. Oh wow, it's weird because wow. in Halloween Ends, I said to Steve, "Wow, even though you couldn't see him, I said he seems older." <laughs> well, guess what? <laughs> guess what? You know, the way he was moving and stuff, it's like, hey, he's getting tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it what was year did your first movie, movie come out in? Late 70s? 78, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, he's 45 years older. That'll do it for you. Yeah, that'll that's <laughs> that'll uh that'll change the sign on the side of the building. Um well um I'm I'm getting ready to go where I know Angus already is. I don't know who else Angus is. has been there for years. Yeah, Angus has been there for years. I am getting ready, oh god, to cut the cord with the cable company. Who is who still has their their vein, you know, their rug, uh, cord, <laughs> their neck. Who still has that? I still have. I got Fios. 
So you have yeah. what? I have Fios, Verizon. Oh, wow. oh, 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 okay. I, I, I have Optimum, and I will tell you, I, I swear to God every month that I am using those motherfuckers. Like, because <laughs> first of all, I, between my Fire Stick and my smart TV, I want <laughs> most of the time I'm watching Hulu, Netflix, Prime, uh, you name it. I mean, all mm -hmm. kinds of like free V and, you know, all the, those other ones that are running all the TV shows, even now on Amazon Prime and then Apple and, you know, all these other things that you have. Um, even like the live sports, which is like my jam, are starting to stream on places like Amazon and, you know, Paramount Plus and Apple and whatnot. So that was like my reason for holding on because I, I have to have like my NCAA, <laughs> you know, playoffs and, and, uh, and, you know, my NBA stuff and my, my football games and whatnot. But I pray for the day. I, and I say to my son every month, figure this shit out. I, I'm done with it because they are so unreliable. They yeah. just keep upcharging you for shit that you don't yes. use. Yep. So, you know, I said to him, we don't have the phone. Like with the triple play crap, we uh -huh. don't have a landline. So take the, that, you know, money off or something. Oh, we can't do that. We can yeah. give you, you know, the free HBO and Cinemax <laughs> for, for like, you know, uh, three months or something. And then I sit there for three months and it's like, okay, nothing I want to watch on this one. Nothing. I, I keep putting it on Go. oh, maybe something will be good on like Cinemax. Yeah. Yeah. HBO. <laughs> nothing ever is. So. No, no. Oh, well, I'm going to, I'm going to give you, cut the cord. I'm going to give awful. you, I'm going to give you a treat because we finally, after I called up for help, right? But because my, I pay for like high speed internet and my internet Thanks. is like drooling out of the side of the port. And I'm like, okay, this, I'm paying for this. So, and I try to, I call them up. Right. And I and it's like, yes, your bill is eight hundred and forty five dollars <laughs> of which five hundred and twenty eight dollars is it's like, what? Wait, I can't yeah. listen to that. So I said, I've got to do something. And I start looking around because I know Angus has although he's he's technically challenged, but he has the fire stick, <laughs> which, you know, um, I said, I'm going and looking at Roku and mm -hmm. for, I said, you know what? It's 80 bucks. The Roku ultra, the brand well, new on one. Sale yeah, it's on sale. Yeah. Normally. They're like a hundred bucks, but so yeah. it's on sale, $20 off, um, at the target. You can get it at Best target buy. or Best Buy or, you know, I mean, just about any place. And when you realize that what I did is I just plugged it into another input. So how much do I go back and forth between the two? How much am I watching cable? I'm not. I mean, it's just there's things that I was watching that I could probably figure out another way to watch. Right. But it's all conditioning, man. And so our cycle ends on the 22nd. Mm -hmm. So and on we're going to say guess on the what? 21st. Yeah, because they have told us to say bye. 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 <laughs> bundled the phone the internet the yeah the, yeah right and and said, yeah yeah they said that it won't be cheaper like if you get rid of the phone you know it, it's like bullshit yeah yeah so we're gonna get rid of the phone and yeah. the cable so, so i, I mean cheaper. we have enough telephone numbers that actually work wherever we take them so why do we have to have that which yeah. the power goes out you're gone if the internet goes out you're gone it's just you know hello yeah. And getting and somebody out here, you can't communicate with them because they don't really understand what you're saying. They're reading off a script. Yeah, that's yeah. And so, you know, so I I'm not that there's only a couple of things content wise that I really would miss if I didn't have them. That's my Formula One races, which freaking Roku has in cam. Uh, in car cameras of all 20 drivers oh all right i'll settle for that yeah and, you know, and so sports you can dial yourself <laughs> into about anything and if you want a premium channel if, if there's like let's just say you want to watch the dragon thing that's on hbo get hbo for nine bucks and watch the whole thing binge it you know and it, and you're done uh it's I, 
we're like my they did the mind flex on us man it's like they, yeah that's what they do i remember getting rid of our last actual landline the real one that even when the power goes out you still get a dial tone yeah yeah, yeah. and i had so much anxiety about that it was like <gasps> but wait a minute i have these phones that can go anywhere and, and not, nobody calls our landline anyway. Yeah, except for solicitors. solicitors. That's, yeah. yeah, that's right. I was going to so say. So it's just another noise in the house. Um, so uh, we're cutting it. Yep. We are just cutting it out. Yeah, uh, cool. well, I, had a, I had a landline for a long time. And it was one of the things when files came, I insisted on keeping my regular landline, right? And, and who's that then, with? Then they sent a letter out and said, they were getting rid of the copper wire and they were used, they were doing it, you know, fiber in, optic. Fiber optic. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they they came and they were going to reinstall it and they were using the same lines as the cable. And I said, whoa, hold it a second. What if I just put this line with the with the cable service? And they said, Oh, you can do that. I said, What's the difference in cost? Well, the difference in cost was I was paying about 90 bucks a month for the landline, right? Mm-hmm. And if I added it to my cable service, it was twenty five bucks. Oh, uh, and they never tell you that stuff though exactly, until you ask about exactly it. Exactly yeah. the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's exactly and the but the thing about it now, even the rub to it all is, if you have if you don't have a choice if you don't have a cha- choice of cable services like if you don't have Road Runner or or right. whatever you know then you got to use their internet anyway because unless yeah. you've got some kind of a satellite on your roof or some kind yeah, of, yeah. well we you know. over you know here you figure in the city that you would have options and for a long time the only option i had was optima wow. and, and sometimes i would look at you know the speed thing i would look at be single digits right yeah know? And I would go, this is not right. And then when I called them, they would tell you everything was your fault. Oh, of course it was. Or your software. It's you know. all your fault. Yep. So when when you know the other when when Verizon came by and said that they were going, you know, they were selling this and that, and they said, We have gigabit speed, we have real gigabit speed. We were like, ah, yeah, sure, right? And when the guy installed it, I did the speed test and I went, oh my God. Really? Yeah. And with FiOS, it's yeah. up and down too. You got gig up and down, right? And, and it's it's up and down, but it's yeah. not up and down like op- it never goes below three or four hundred megabits right. per second. No, he means upload and download. Oh, yeah. The speed is the yeah. same on FiOS oh, yeah. with the op- <laughs> with the fiber optic. Yeah, yeah. The optimum. I'm lucky. I got three hundred down, and it's like fifteen up. Because I, I checked just before I came online here. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. So. Let's all and check and see what our speeds are. Like the, <laughs> the router is here in my office, right? And if, and if I check the speed in the office, it's insane. If I go down in my basement, it's a whole nother number. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it doesn't go through walls like that. Yeah, yeah and then but they have... Thing. We bought yeah, the boosters. booster thing. Yeah. Yeah, we have one. We, we have boosters one on- too. <clears throat> but it's still, you know, like my wife's office is in the basement. So, and she has a she has a TV down there and a whole bunch of things that she has to do. She has to do. Youth. So, so she said the only time we ever get a complaint is, you know, from her saying it's slower today. And when I look at the speed that when I go down there, it's still around 200. Wow. So, that's, you know that's fast yeah compared to single digits yeah, yeah. Uh, hello okay. uh, Sue wants Hi, to Jeff. Know, how do you speed check how do you check your speed you type check? in speed test yeah and in a, in the google search bar and you'll get a bunch of options and if there's one for your company like i use xfinity just pick that one and and hit go and it'll tell you okay mm-hmm. so you type in speed test you search speed or, test okay. or speedtest.net yeah, and it'll okay. it'll it'll call up your service and give you a couple different servers to check with. Ah, even I use the Ookla, the Ookla one, 
the yeah, that's speedtest.net. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I use. Yeah. So, oh, Jeff. Yo. Jeff. Yo, hi, everybody. Cable or no cable? No cable. Oh, wait. No, ah. for, internet, no, for internet, I have cable. You have to have cable for internet. Yeah. 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 You're yeah, talking about TV. television? Yeah, you yeah. cut the cord. What did you, what and, and what uh I'm only using I'm only using Roku. Oh, there we go. Just got it. You have the stick or you got the the box? Which one? Just just a little thing. It's about that big. Yeah, stick. No. No, I think the stick is a USB. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well what is the what is this one? HDMI? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's just like a little like tiny cable. router kind of thing. It, it's it just a, yeah. It's it accesses Wi-Fi through the router. You plug yeah. an HDMI cable into the back of it and into the television. He's got what we got. Yeah. No, we have. Well, he's got the same set. We have the Ultra, which is the square one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's got you know, but it's got a voice activated remote, and I you know, and it was. Oh, I was just one. saying, I'm, I'm trying to get Mousy to you know go into rehab. One of my televisions is a Roku. I said, no, no, no. <laughs> and how is that? It's it's cool, you know. It comes up with the, you know. I have it so default it goes to what the cable box is. But then I hit the menu and it shows me all of the channels that I have up. It's, I'll tell you what. Oh, that's cool. Music stuff on there that's pretty freaking cool that I haven't seen anywhere else. You got to dig around in it for a while, but it's yeah, yeah. what, what yeah. I did, I went and looked at, um, you know, YouTube videos of, you know, top 10, you know, fire stick or Chromecast or, mm -hmm. and uh, the one that worked for me was, uh, Roku. was the Roku yeah. ultra. And we, we called it in and picked it up in 20 minutes or Yesterday. whatever it was. And, and yeah, Target it, has it on sale. It yeah, it's on sale. It's 99 and it's 69. But you see there's, and now let me ask the, the cord cutters. Let me ask the cord cutters. What do you do for a DVR? Don't. You don't? So everything, so we use everything's on demand. You can just go yeah. back and watch stuff on demand. Yeah, yeah, we record stuff, but we do it through um, uh, Direct TV Stream. That's what we have, Direct oh. TV Stream. It's not Direct you TV Stream. It's not like this yeah, like that. That's, a cl that's a cloud DVR. Yeah, you have to pay for that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not much at all. Any of the services, they offer it with Paramount or Hulu or, you know, any of those. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, but how many of those other services do you get? Like... How, yeah. Like, because when I add up all the subscriptions we have, <laughs> it's really horrific. Yeah. It's pretty, yeah, you got to really it's a be lot. on top yeah. of it and shut yeah. things off when you're done watching a, a series or something. Yeah. It takes a but lot I of work. That I the that there's, like there. there's certain things that I pay for for the year. Like yeah. you pay Prime for the year. I right. pay for, right. I, have, yeah. I, I have HBO Max. I pay for it for the year. In fact, with if I use my Amex card, Amex gives me a discount as well. Oh. Yeah. Competition. Yeah. Yeah, but and I was gonna get rid of AMC plus and then those bastards came up with interview with the vampire. I know. And it's just I said every time ever. you're almost yeah. done. It's like here comes something else. I was they just here, they hook you. <laughs> yeah, no, it's yeah, it's but the truth is, it all winds up on paper on demand after a while. Yes, and for a while. Yeah. Do you? All right. The last Bond. It's movie, grumpy. We were talking about this movie a couple of years ago. We were in here, if you can believe that or not. Oh, there's Grumps. There's Grumps. <laughs> uh, a couple of years ago, we were talking about the new Bond movie, right? If you recall. Yeah. And then it came out. Right, and it was like on. It was like, yeah, you can you can rent it for twenty bucks or whatever it was. And I think I'm not doing that. This yeah. is my house. Come on, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna pay movie prices for that. And so your TV, watch, yeah. I, I mean, we have a a massive screen, and you know, it's our bedroom is for sleeping and entertainment of every kind. But <laughs> uh, but uh, 
I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. And so finally, it came on. Uh, it was free, right? It took a couple of years, but all of a sudden, and we watched it, and it sucked. It was horrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What happened? Yeah, there was a couple of things like that too that everybody was talking about it. And even if I was get you know, somebody would say to me, Oh, use my login to log into, you know, whatever, so you could see this. And I'm like, that was it. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm glad I didn't pay even ten bucks for a month to be able but to But things that. go to things go to streaming so fast these I days. I know. Yeah. However, you know, I will go see Wakanda forever. In, in a theater, theater. In absolutely. A theater. I will too, absolutely, right. bro. Well, I'll wait for it to come on. What Roku? <laughs> <laughs> Roku forever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going back to the. I didn't like going to the movies. The, the last movie I saw was that one where Spock died. Oh, <laughs> wow. that's the last one I saw in the movies. <laughs> that's Star Trek. Three. Oh, that's two. Wrath of Khan. Wrath of Khan. And Steve is crying. I got I, the lights. I, I don't want to walk out of the place, right? Because I don't want anybody to see me because I've been like bawling my eyes out and I have shit stuck all over my face from tissues, right? And I'm sitting there and, and she says, uh, come on, let's go. I said, we have to watch the credits. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm all emotional. I mean, Spock is dead. Spock I'm freaking out. Died. Freaking out. And I said to her, but, uh, uh, Spock, Spock, Spock died. And she said, uh, Steve, they're your friends. <laughs> I just went. Don't with... expect me to go to the wake. <laughs> really? Maybe he was alive. <laughs> right. Right. But he was and, that, yeah. And they lost, they, they lost the Enterprise and they got another Enterprise. Right. Yeah. And. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. That's the one that actually <laughs> little bit was doing where they got a new enterprise. Yeah, that was well, see now my the original enterprise, NCC one seven oh one, when did they start coming up with the letters? A, B, C, D, one seven oh one D. Yeah, I've I've noticed that. Uh, I, mean, you know, I don't know. I don't even know what bridge I'm on. So uh, <laughs> that looks like next generation. Uh, okay, what is Cody K O D I Anthony? Oh, Cody's worthless now. Yeah, it yeah. used yeah. to be great. It he was used to great. Scrape all it used to basically people would scrape and uh and live stream from all, all the streaming services. They would get all the first run movies. And you oh. could find anything like literally yeah. the day it came out, you could be watching yeah. it on TV. But they yeah. shut that shit down, and it's, yeah. it's like it doesn't even practically well, exist anymore. But you had first, well, you had the look for the best quality one. one. It's well, there's another one. Yeah, you had to look for the one that you want with the quality. So if it was a, yeah. at you know 720p, or if it was yeah, yeah, I have that. Yeah, with, because uh, some of them were like you know how it used to if you bought a you know a bootleg VHS or right. on the street, you know you could I hear never did that. talking in the movie. Oh, yeah. Wait till this part comes. <laughs> yeah. no, listen, I, I got to jump out. I got to go pick up the kids from the school, unfortunately. Oh, the kids. How You're such back. a good dad. How are you feeling, I'm Angus? Sure. How are you feeling? I'm not right yet. I'm still not right, man. You yeah, but how right, are you feeling? I'm, fe I'm feeling <laughs> <laughs> yeah, feel better, pal. Go ahead and get the kids. You're All free right, to go. Okay, so Anthony Legerio, he's the one that has Cody, and he said no, he got new builds yesterday and watched Willy Wonka all day. Is really? In the movies now? Well, there's not a, not a new one. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but he said he got new builds yesterday, whatever that means. I mean, you did have to constantly update it. And then whatever app that you had on Cody. So, like, I think the one that I used mostly was called Exodus. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, but there there was a bunch of different ones on there. You had to, it, it was a lot of looking to get what you need, where you needed to go. But at the time, it was like the best thing going because you could get anything 
Like the yeah. day it came out, if it hit, if it was in the theaters, you could get it. But that was also before they were starting to put stuff straight to streaming when mm-hmm. I first got it too. Okay, so, was that a know, long time ago? I, I never did that. Uh, I I'm going to say maybe hmm, two, three years ago, maybe three oh. years ago. No, I had, no had, I, of Cody, I had Cody longer than that ago. Oh, we, I had it longer oh, ago, yeah. but I think that's the last it was really usable was oh, maybe yes, like a yes. year or two ago. How do you get it? I don't know. You said C we used to have films. We had we had um a hacked fire, fire stick. We had fire sticks that somebody would yeah. put it on for us. Yeah. Wow. Ah. And then they would give us a whole bunch of other stuff too. And eventually that stuff would stop working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's like Napster <laughs> for movies. Yeah. Napster for movies. Napster. Yeah, basically they kept shutting yeah. stuff down and then other people like, and and there were people, I don't understand why because it didn't really get them anything as far as I know, but there were people just like with Napster that just spent their time trying to like scrape movies off the internet and, and put it out there for people. So I don't know if they're, you know, it was like oh. a, a Abby Hoffman steal this book kind of thing. But he I, it yeah, on Play Store, I tell you so. what, the thing that now all right, the and just uh, we just the record came out finally, as you can see from Joe's screensaver, yeah, and you got it today. um, and uh, yeah, you got it today. Thank you, and um, and I was playing tracks from it, you know, the week before, right? And I got flagged by Warner Brothers <laughs> every day, and I'm like, what? I mean, this is this stuff isn't even released yet, and I'm getting flagged by warner Bros. in the same day like within days of this record even coming out right yeah uh-huh. and so i called up the label and i said you know this is him. he said oh okay we have to whitelist you have anybody heard of that whitelist uh, which means that it's okay <laughs> yeah they make a, a white list for special people like Bros. the producer yeah. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. And well, it's like, he's like co-writer. Well, yeah, I wrote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on some of the things. Which means you have to write music. That's what it is. But you Not know so. that even if you say played um a cover of a police tune, say, and and put it on YouTube, like when we when um my husband's band when Waydell played and they were doing, you know, covers of whatever. Give me some love and Spencer Davis. You have to put in the title cover. Yeah. Cover. So and so doing cover of such as, you know, the police's, you know, walking on the moon or whatever anybody's doing. Um, but if you don't put cover and they shut that shit down like that. That's like nuts, immediately. Man. And interestingly enough, for some reason in my feed of YouTube today, I was watching a video and then the next thing that came up was this video of David Letterman. Um, talking about people were saying um, it started out with him saying that there there was a, somebody in the audience he had talked to who was here from Minnesota or whatever to see the Eagles at the time at the, the garden. And then it came up in the conversation that the Letterman band was not allowed to play any Eagles tunes. And now, of course, Dave being Dave is pushing the issue and he's going, Come on, just play an Eagles tune. Like, how many notes can we play? Yeah, and it turned out, okay, like without getting tagged for it. And his producer is screaming, like, no, no notes. You can't play any. And he's going, well, what about this song? And they're like, no, no Eagles song. So some of the things that were not whitelisted, that were blacklisted, was um Billy Joel, c- certain songs by Bruce Springsteen, like they, they could not play Born to Run, but they could play 10th Avenue Freeze Out, they could cover. Um but if they played an Eagles song, now figure how long has Letterman been off the air? And this is like, you know, I'm saying going back however many years ago, maybe 10 years ago, it would cost them one quarter of a million dollars to play an Eagles song oh my on the God. Letterman show. Wow. Because he's like, they're they're like, what about, you know, what what is it, $1,000? And they're like, nope, higher. And he's like, a couple thousand dollars. Everybody in the audience will kick in five bucks and we'll like let, you know, just <laughs> because they just wanted to do it. And they were like, absolutely not. And it was it was two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to play an Eagles wow. song on the Letterman show. So that's why I, you know, I guess if somebody's doing it legally and you have the chance to get a quarter of a million dollars, 
from having somebody play your song or somebody pirating it, you know, you're going to fight for the 250,000. Speaking so, of doing covers, uh, have you seen Robert Fripp and his wife, their, their uh, YouTube channel? No. It's hysterical. No. It's hysterical. hysterical? Yeah. Oh, it's really funny. It's, they do the songs actually well, but it's really funny. Oh, he always out. comes out with something that is semi see through. What and do they do? What songs do they do? Thing. What do they cover? Everything. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. yeah. I remember his Toy. wife from like. You wouldn't think it. Like the first one I saw seemed out of character to me because yeah. I I just didn't think I'm like I'm watching Robert Fripp and his wife do this. Yeah. Like and then after a while you get used to you get, you get the joke, to, but yeah, I gotta see this shit. And they have yeah, they have check it out too. come in and sit in. It, they, it's really actually really funny, but they I, they do the songs well as him and her. While, wow. while Steve's looking it up and we're talking about cord cutting, so should I cancel my Columbia House uh, membership? No, now? no, don't, bro. Because I've been paying for that for years. Really? <laughs> I got to tell you something. I, you must be the only person who ever paid for that. Thing. You know, I'm really gullible. <laughs> let's talk about let's let's talk about stuff you should have never paid for. My mother, for some reason. Oh my gosh! I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> when I was. 15 or something she took out a life insurance policy on me right i thought it was after you had yeah accident. yeah well, well so how old was i 17 18 yeah. 16 something like that. it <laughs> takes a freaking uh a, but ten thousand dollars with gerber, gerber life, life. The oh yeah my <laughs> kids had that my yeah. Yeah. Bought it well, for the, the grandparents bought it for my kids when they were born Right, but did they have to keep paying for it? Because I think when we got to ten thousand dollars, we well, said, no, you know, when we got married, she gave it you, to me. Yeah, she gave it to Lauren and said, no, you can pick up the payments now. It was like, like what? What? You have life insurance on him. He should have it on you. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, I I remember my in laws bought it, but no, I think it like when it was eighteen, it just continued. You know, like they turned eighteen or whenever it was paid off or whatever. Then they just had this like it wasn't like term life insurance. It was like whole life insurance. Well, whole life you pay so. for a certain amount of time. It's like right, yeah. right, yeah. So and then it's short. this was ten thousand dollars, and it was like uh, yeah, that's not whole life. No, that was like my mother right. buying encyclopedias. Remember, people buy yes. encyclopedias and pay ah. for them like forever and ever. And I mean, but at the time when we were kids, that's what you needed. There was no internet. I, it's so, so funny. I asked my grandchildren, I said, have you ever heard of encyclopedias? And it's like, what's that? Because they can look up everything on the internet. Okay, I'll go one better. There was, when I, at the hospital, I was cleaning stuff out of the, the, the um, office closets, you know, in the, in the cabinets. And I take out a stack, really neat stack with rubber bands around it, a floppy disk. And I turned to one of the kids there and I said, do you have any idea what this is? And he looked at me and he's like, no. I said, do you know what a floppy disk is? He goes, no, I don't know what that is. He goes, what is that? <laughs> like he, had no, he goes, he goes, like, I know what a disk is. He go, I go, no, I go, no. He, completely clueless. And he was not the only one. I'm mm -hmm. going to say anybody under like 30 years old had no idea. <clears throat> so that's how fast remember, things changed. Remember if you had to back up something with floppies, it was you sat there for about 17 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What was the drive? What was the drive to tack drive? I know you know Max Drive, Mac Drive, Zip Drive, Zip Drive, Zip Drive. Yeah. yeah. And there were Bernoulli drives. Yeah, all the this Zip Drive stuff. that you try to compress like ten million things right. into because it would take so much space. You'd have to compress it. Otherwise, you, you could like put it on your computer and then do absolutely nothing with it. And <laughs> it's like your memory, your, your computer would be crawling along because it would have no memory left. It was awful. Yeah. yeah. We were Copeland walked into tower records when there still were record stores, maybe 20 years ago, 25 years ago with his son and his son came over to him and he held up an album and he said, dad, what is this? He goes, Oh, that's a record by uh, the clash. And He's, no, What's this? Look down and said, no, what is this? This physical thing I'm holding. Vinyl. Yeah. It's vinyl. 
Yeah. I came my, to that when once. my kids were born, we had a nanny and she said, do you have those big CDs? That's what big, my son used to think 45s ones. were giant CDs, he'd say to me. How about he this? 45 records. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Quick, wow. quick format. Yeah. <laughs> How much would you pay to, uh, to transcode that? See, I'll buy anything. Like, you know, you know how uh, Mousy has the uh, all her um, like uh, my little action zombies figures? and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got I got to share my I got a Starship Enterprise. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. How do you like that? <laughs> it's a Starship Enterprise keychain. That's yeah, great. All right. That's right. awesome. Right. Exactly. Captain Kirk's waving at you. I don't know whether that's the toilet. NC. What are the numbers? Oops, I don't know, but there's a Klingon. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. Awesome. Klingon. Love it. <laughs> well, when I was cleaning out stuff the other day, I found it's somewhere around here in the box still um, the Back to the Future DeLorean car, like still in the box. It's about, you know, this That's big. funny like that. Did yeah. you look in the trunk? Uh, well, I couldn't get the flux capacitor open. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. In the, no, no, no. I'm, go I'm not oh, going. To oh, 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 yeah. Oh, look, look. Are we pasturing already? No, we can't be. Well, Can we? Are we? Yeah, I'm a little ahead of myself, but I, I, I needed to get out of the uh, Starship He's Enterprise. a little head. So uh, I, I needed to flush the Enterprise away. And, uh... Right, there you go. <laughs> hey, Tom, have you ever, like, you're in a cemetery, right? Have you ever heard what truckers call cemeteries when they're, like, on their, on their radios? They call it marble orchards. Oh wow. oh wow! That's so cool, Congress. Like that. Yeah. And what was your handle, Booker? <laughs> <laughs> Blue Bell Booker. <laughs> Blue Bell Booker would be. Good. <laughs> you got three B here, westbound and down, good buddy. I got a smoky hold up on the right here, but I'm in a rocking chair. <laughs> wow. Okay, so you sent Booker, Booker a picture Fred? of at the uh, grocery store. I know. Shelf. Did you buy oh, any? Bluebell flavors. Because that was, you know, the only flavor that I'm interested in is the homemade vanilla right up right. the right corner. You notice mm -hmm. I remembered exactly where it was, too, right? <laughs> <laughs> Burned into his brain. It just, it just, just, to, just to let you know how t deep this runs, <laughs> Angus sends me pictures on, on, when he's out at work of the trucks, the Bluebell trucks. Oh, wow. <laughs> You know, too, I must have, man, I'm not going there. I have a new I'm going to have to go down to the creamery. It's not that far from my house. Hey, I went to Styrtown Bakery last week. Oh, oh you did? How'd that go? Am it was I great. kidding? It, it's a great night. Oh, no, there you go. Yeah. The Bluebell truck. That's it. That's great. It's got, it's got New York plates on it. <laughs> It does not. <laughs> no, it does. does not. What did, did the you say about notch, the Did the Great Notch Inn get closed or torn down? No, it's still open. I, I mean, I couldn't find it when I was coming back from. Well, because of the way they reconfigured the highways there. It's so but they, they cut down all the trees. They So for those of you who don't know about the Great Notch Inn, it's like a roadhouse on a highway in New Jersey. I mean, like log cabin front porch you know um they had maybe the size of somebody's like a large living room inside there's the bar maybe seats like six people everybody hangs on the front porch bikers go there all the time and they never have a cover charge but they have music maybe like five nights a week or something and uh it's been there forever and ever and now all this construction's gone through and all this development's come through and the guy who owns it, um, this guy, Rich Hempel, loves to promote live music and he refused to sell. So when you talk about, you know, like a highway built around this one entity, 
uh, you know, like along the side of the road there. And uh, they cut down all the trees and everything else. But I'm actually going there um, this week because one of the guys from the Un Brothers, Dave Hirschberg, is, has an Alice in Chains uh, tribute band that's playing there. And I'm going there with a drummer friend of mine, Annie Mash. And, um, and uh, oftentimes people will go through there, right? Jeff, you played there. We yeah, did, we so did the, the Great Notch tour when Jeff was up here. Everybody would just go there and hang. It's, the, it's like a throwback to another time and place. It's so crazy. But when we were in high school, the guys, uh, Rich Hempel, his grandfather used to own it. And yeah. you could go there and w you'd walk in and Ooh. there'd be nobody in the place. And he'd say to you, I don't like that shirt. Get out. <laughs> it would be like, okay. And we had an ice cream guy like that. <laughs> Remember the mean like, ice cream guy? Like literally nobody in the bar, not making make a dime of money. But if you didn't like the way you looked or your boots or whatever, out. That was it. Yes. There was Stories about him are great. Now, what was it? Wait, it was a bakery? What was it? No. no it, 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 I went to the bakery that Jeff and Mousy know. But on the way back, this little bar that has been there forever off of route 346 you know i didn't see it because there's all kinds of construction i didn't yeah. see it going to steyer town so coming back i was like is this place here and i couldn't find it it's... so i must have driven right past it and and steve we you've did. had guests who have played there because i remember oh, yeah. a number of people who have been on your show promoted a gig there at that time but um yeah, it's just been there forever. And now it, there's like everything's built around it, I guess. Yeah, and then it's exactly. Just a little parking lot and it's like log cabin, right? Yeah. Did you ever see like where, you know, where there's been like a super highway go through and there's that one person who refuses to sell their house and they yeah. just have yeah. like a little house on an island in the middle of a highway? That's basically what this place is like. I'm, I'm that's like, Queen, to that's like on Queens Boulevard in Queens by where Queens Center is. This yeah. old at a house right there in the middle of it and she refused to sell. And I think finally, like almost near 2000, like she passed away and her children said, we're selling this damn house. <laughs> wow. I think Ray Notch has actually been listed now as a historical- Yeah, I think it landmark. might be because I know it was, it's like well known as one of the great dive bars of like the 20th century and the 21st century. There's so few left but the thing is the bikers would all come through there off of because it's kind of where route 80 and route 46 and route 3 and route 23 all kind of like intersect around that area there so whatever runs they were coming in they'd stop there because they would be as donnie wood muller would say mouse pull over to the notch i'm parched <laughs> so they'd be and there'd be 50 motorcycles lined up there parked outside all the time the bikers would stop there and I, that's what my kids would say to me on Sundays. They'd be like, Mom, look at all those motors. I got and I said, That's where the bikers go to church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is their key. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have wow. a question for oh, you guys. Question from David. He wants to know what is a good, free, easy to use file compressor so I can send zip files over the internet? We transfer. We oh, 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 yeah, we transfer. transfer. Yeah. Or yeah, we there's transfer. another one, too. I can't remember. There's another one. But we transfer, <laughs> you have to be, that. there's like a time limit on that, right? Well, it's yeah, like well, they, they six or to, seven days or something, and then you can't access it anymore. Time. But you should be able to do it quickly. I mean, you know, if you have a week to do it, you should be able to do it. It's free it's, and easy to use? It's free. Yeah. Up. Two gigabytes. Yeah, yeah, two gigabytes maximum, yeah. Yeah, or you could use Dropbox. Yeah, I have Dropbox. And but that's I, not free, is it? No, it's not. Well, there's a free, there's a free option. Pay for mine because I have... And it's up to two gig, too. Or a Dropbox. Well, I'll yeah. claim that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go. All right. You okay. guys have been useful. You send it is another one. Yes. You send it. You send it. You a send a plethora it. of information here. The check's in your mouth, and I won't come in the mail. So, weekend plans, anybody? All I'm working time. all weekend long, which is Are a you good working thing. tonight. I'm working tonight. Arthur's Tavern. Right. 
Yikes. My mouth is out? Yikes, that's scary. Oh. I, I don't think I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> that was the yeah. Wizard of Oz. It was the Wizard of Oz. Was. What? That no. was going to be your pasture. No, I, I you, you know what? Make a no, actually, I did not make a pasture. And uh, this is my pasture. Too busy playing with Roku. Because I'm Ro well. Because you now let's watch another church tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> that's my pasture when I used to have uh, pink hair and a blue face. Yeah, you look oh. like Beetlejuice. Well, there's there's one that happens, and you look like an Oompa Loompa. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your face is purple and your hair is green. So, so there, there actually go. is a new Willy Wonka out. And there he is. <laughs> no, Jeff, is I, I, I can't, I can't even watch. I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> That's a little scary, Steve. It was yeah, a lot. I was Steve, very you scared. You have a freaking pasture. Hey, lady. <laughs> you're the one screaming. You Roku, Roku. Flowers or something. Your flowers, you want flowers? I can get a pasture. Wow. It is so hot up here in New Jersey. I have my air conditioning on right now. How hot is it? 75 no, degrees. It's warm, yeah. It's, it's 75 warm. degrees. And the poor people who are running the New York Marathon are uh -huh. in for a treat this weekend because it's going to be like 75 degrees and humid. So that's not. We're going to see a lot of passing out in that first. Oh, hell yeah. Wow. Like, yeah. like they go, I used to live on Fourth Avenue in in brooklyn in park slope right and they'd run right by my house and i would go yeah. on the roof of the building and watch them and there was a certain amount of people that by that by the time they got in front of my house they were walking and wow. I'm like, knock yeah. it up with booker can we come in <laughs> <laughs> and do you have any bluebell <laughs> they, they were parched i'm guessing they were I, 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 and he yeah. would stand there, he would stand there with a six pack of beer and said, beer? <laughs> no way. Oh, yeah. Cool. And that's every cool. once in a while, somebody would say, sure. And Why take not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to finish this anyway. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want that. No, oh, no. Man. So uh, any other plans besides gigging for the weekend? Or are we just, uh, you We're know. We're going to watch Access TV on Roku for free. Oh, yeah, man. Well, I'm going to go kayaking on Sunday since it's so warm. Where? Oh, my my wife is speaking at a um she's in LA and she's speaking at a at a, a conference she for the series that she's writing. They they she had a company that did an AI version of one of the characters. Oh, oh wow, so, that's cool. So they're doing so she's speaking about it this weekend in LA. And I don't remember what the conference was, so she's going to kill me. Of course you don't remember. You're the husband. Of course you don't remember. Yeah, you're not, that's not in your contract, bro. Read it. It's, I'm telling you, it's not in there. Past a certain point, past 55, I think it is, you're not required yeah. to remember anything. It's, oh, it's, is that it's, how it works? It is absolutely how it works. Yes, yeah, the Infinity Festival, it's called. The what kind of festival? Infinity, Infinity Festival? Yeah. Festival. Oh, Infinity yeah. Festival. All right. Let's everybody say it, please. Infinity Festival. Infinity Festival. Festival. It doesn't end. It doesn't end. Yes. Unless it's Infinity, Infinity and, and Beyond. beyond. Yeah. <laughs> Mousy, where are you going kayaking? Um, on the Passaic River. Oh, okay. So I was um, going to say the reservoirs, they're lowering them. So, you know, around this time, you like I used to kayak yeah, all the time. To and then I'd get there and there'd be no water. Yeah, I go. I used to go up to Mohonk, but honestly, I went to a friend's party the other day in Little Falls, and out of his backyard, I was like, "Bro, this runs right through our town." I said, "I didn't know if there was any kind of boat launch." And he goes, "Well, you could just come through my yard." He had like a little boat dock in his thing. He says, "There's a launch here." He goes, "But right down the street." So I'm like, "Oh, great! You know, that's cool." Um, he said to me, "Just remember, um, to go in the opposite direction of the falls." Because <laughs> the, the, the little, there's two falls. There's the little falls and there's the great falls in Patterson. And the little falls sound like they're little, but they're not. They're not that oh. little. So you can't go there or, you know, it used to power um, carpet mills. 
that were right. mm. and 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 the silk mills in Patterson were powered by the Great Falls. So uh, yeah, so I think I'm going Hill to make Road, sure I'm right? going in the right direction. What? It's right on Long Hill Road. Yeah, uh, it runs all school? along. I mean, by the school. Yeah, yeah. So you're a kayaker. Yeah. Well, let me ask you a question. Have you ever have you ever done the Delaware? Oh yeah, yeah. Sure. Well, okay, I have to tell well, you, when I did the Delaware, it was so it was like at a like this time of year, and it was uh -huh. like so yeah. slow. The water that gap? it was like paddling upstream, <laughs> even though you were going with the current, it was like exhausting. So yeah, you want to go? I had and... I had played um, the Gemini. Remember the Gemini in Yorktown? Oh, yeah, yeah. In York, a friend right? of mine who lived right down the street who happened to be uh willy wonka we'll call him <laughs> so it was steve's birthday yeah, it was my birthday uh after midnight and we went back to this guy's house and i've got we a friend of mine there and <laughs> willie gave out candy to everybody Celebrated. okay film vials film vials film vials and said you guys want to go kayaking this is <laughs> 4 30 in the morning and of course yeah of course <laughs> yes, let's go and we we the line, drive, i don't have any idea where we're going and we get to the we drive i don't even know how long we were driving because i wasn't looking up <laughs> uh, so we get to this place and he parks the car right and we're all there and some guy with like a tooth and a plaid <laughs> comes and picks us up and drives us upstream right and he's right, got yeah. kayaks in the back of his truck and it's like i don't have any idea what's going on right so we're all there and he dumps the kayaks out and they're i guess they're rental kayaks with that have the ball on the end of each end you know what i'm talking about so yeah 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 stuff. And so one one of the guys can't wait, and he gets in the kayak, and he's on the on like the shore, and he's like doing a turtle <laughs> trying thing, to, scoot trying to get himself in the water, <laughs> and he gets in the water right, and the front's floating, but the back is still on the shore, and he flips upside down, and he can't get up because he, I mean, he would have drowned if we didn't turn around. Yeah. yeah. So we changed to canoes. We said, listen, dude, go wherever you keep the kayaks, you got canoes there, because we'll do that. And um, I still have scars from that thing, but but the <laughs> candy never got wet. Well, guys, I got to go. As you oh, yes. Bye, Bye Booker. Booker. All right. Yeah, we all do. Kid, Class dismissed. Uh, Love you guys. Love you all. Love Bye. you all, Bye. children of the lawn, especially right. you guys. Hey, you Take care. Peace out, Peace everybody. <laughs> Bye, Gramps. Bye. And then there was two. <laughs> well, three if you can. Well, Mousy's going kayaking. Patty Man. She used to kayak. Then they hit a rock, flipped into the water, and the kayak hit her in the back, and she is done. I tell you what, not, it's not for me, man. I, I mean. It wouldn't be for me. <laughs> we did it in a, I mean, we did it in canoes. And the thing about it is, if you don't really understand the nuances of a river or, a, you know, the Delaware water gap. And, yeah, and, and how to balance those and things. And if you really are, you know, in that super mindset where you can do anything, which you can't. We're in this thing. It was me and Chris. And, and we get dumped over, right? And the, 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 canoe is facing upstream so the water is rushing into the canoe and we can't move it we're in the water you know it's shallow enough so you can stand up and we managed to get the thing free and it pushes me back and my leg is caught between the keel on the bottom of the canoe and a rock and i'm like uh can we move this again man and man that leg to uh yeah drums with. yeah it was that sucked so needless to say well, Tim says they flip. <laughs> well, this was like I said, this was a canoe. I mean, I wasn't getting in one of those death tubes after I saw what happened to my well, friend. Well, you said that about canoes. They flip. <laughs> well, you know what? Tip a canoe and Tyler, too. Oh, and people, guess what? We got on Roku. We can watch any PBS show at any time right. we want. So right. we can watch the Woodpecker show tonight or tomorrow. That's right. Ha! 
It's and awesome. And we can go watch that Monarch show that we didn't get. Mm -hmm. Roku. Roku. Told you. No. Okay, so. All right, so. Happy weekend, guys. Be safe. Love you all. And if I don't see you in the future, I'll see you in the pasture. And remember, Monday. Oh, Monday. Memory Lane Memory Monday. Memory Lane Monday. Memory Lane Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody. See ya. Hit the right button. Hit that button. It doesn't work. The button doesn't work. <laughs> there we go. Cue theme song. Thank you.